Ever felt like you've been hit by an emotional truck after someone walked out of your life? Well, buckle up, because today we're diving into why getting rejected by an INFJ feels like getting your heart run over by a unicorn wearing sparkly boots. You see, INFJs aren't your average Joe or Jane. We're talking about the rarest personality type out there, the mystical creatures of the Myers-Briggs world. And when these rare gems decide to peace out, oh boy, it's a whole different ball game. Whether you're nursing a broken heart from an INFJ, or you're an INFJ wondering why your exes can't seem to let go, stick around. We're about to unpack why INFJ rejection hits differently, and trust me, it's going to be one heck of a ride. Before we start, please hit the like button, comment, and subscribe so you won't miss any of our weekly deep dives into the world of personality types. And, if you are looking to achieve a deeper understanding of yourself and your personality type, click the link in the comments to take our favorite free personality test. Now let's evaluate why INFJ rejection hits differently, starting with Number 1. The Depth of INFJ Connections INFJs are known for the depth of their emotional bonds and relationships. We don't just skim the surface, oh no, we plunge head first into the deep end. When an INFJ lets you into their world, it's not just a casual hangout, it's a sacred trust. They pour their hearts and souls into cultivating that connection, seeing you as a person and an entire universe to explore. And that's why the loss of an INFJ relationship can feel so earth-shattering. It's not just a casual friend or acquaintance walking out the door, it's the evaporation of a profound, almost mystical bond. Imagine spending years meticulously crafting a stunning mosaic, only to have someone come along and shatter it into a million pieces. That's the devastation an INFJ faces when a cherished relationship ends. Number 2. INFJs as Empathetic Partners One of the key reasons INFJ connections run so deep is the sheer empathetic prowess of these intuitive feelers. INFJs have an almost supernatural ability to understand others on the deepest level. They don't just hear your words, they feel the emotions behind them. They intuitively grasp your inner struggles, dreams, and fears, like they've built a mental and emotional bridge into your soul. So when an INFJ rejects you or pulls away, it's not just the loss of a partner or friend, it's the shattering of that profound empathetic bond. Suddenly, that person who could read you like an open book is gone, leaving you feeling exposed, misunderstood, and utterly alone. The emptiness of that empathetic void is enough to bring even the strongest INFJ to their knees. Number 3. The Rarity Factor And let's remember the rarity factor when it comes to INFJs. We make up a mere 1-2% of the population, so finding kindred spirits is already an uphill battle. When an INFJ finally lets someone in, it's like discovering a shimmering oasis in a vast, barren desert. So when that connection is severed, it's not just the loss of a relationship, it's the disappearance of something scarce and precious. Imagine stumbling upon a breathtaking centuries-old sculpture, only to have it stolen. That's the kind of gut-wrenching feeling an INFJ faces when a special bond is broken. There's a deep, almost primal sense of having something irreplaceable torn from your grasp. Number 4. INFJs as Idealists in Relationships Let's not forget the idealistic nature of INFJs when it comes to relationships. These intuitive feelers don't just seek connections. They seek the perfect connection, the soulmate, the missing puzzle piece, the other half of their heart. They envision these relationships as transcendent, almost spiritual experiences, where two souls merge and create something truly divine. So when that idealized connection crumbles, it's not just a relationship ending, it's the shattering of a dream, the collapse of a carefully constructed fantasy. INFJs pour so much of themselves into realizing these lofty relationship goals that the disappointment can be absolutely crushing. It's not just a broken heart, it's the loss of something they had built up in their minds to be almost mythical in nature. Number 5. The INFJ's Commitment to Growth Another key factor in INFJ rejection is how these personality types approach personal growth and development. 
INFJs constantly strive to become the best versions of themselves, often seeing their relationships as catalysts for that journey of self-improvement. They choose partners who challenge them, inspire them, and help them evolve into ever more authentic and whole human beings. So when an INFJ relationship ends, it's not just the loss of a lover or a friend, it's the disruption of a crucial personal growth pathway. Suddenly, that guiding light, that driving force behind their self-actualization efforts is extinguished. INFJs can feel like they've lost not just a partner, but a vital piece of their own identity and direction in life. Number six, the lingering impact of INFJ presence. And let's remember the sheer magnitude of an INFJ's presence in our lives. These intuitive feelers have a way of leaving an indelible mark on the souls of those they encounter. Even the briefest interactions with an INFJ can leave you feeling seen, understood, and forever changed. So when an INFJ exits stage left, it's not just the present moment that's affected. The echoes of their essence reverberate through our memories and our hearts. The INFJ's unique blend of insight, empathy, and authenticity casts a long shadow, making their absence feel all the more profound. A brilliant light has been snuffed out, leaving us grasping at the fading after images. Number seven, the challenge of replacing INFJ energy. And therein lies another key reason why INFJ rejection hits so hard. The sheer difficulty of finding a replacement for that one-of-a-kind energy. INFJs possess a rare and intoxicating combination of traits that make them captivating, inspiring, and irreplaceable. Their intuitive understanding, their gentle wisdom, their unwavering authenticity. These qualities make them almost mythical in the eyes of those who have been touched by their presence. So when an INFJ walks away, it's not just the loss of that person, it's the disappearance of an entire universe of possibilities. Suddenly, the world feels a little duller, a little less magical. It's like trying to replace a priceless, handcrafted work of art with a mass-produced replica. The authenticity, depth, and sheer uniqueness of the INFJ experience can never truly be replicated. Number eight, INFJs and conflict avoidance. And let's not forget the INFJ tendency towards conflict avoidance which can add an extra layer of complexity and confusion to the rejection process. These intuitive feelers often avoid direct confrontation, preferring to withdraw and disengage rather than risk an uncomfortable or emotionally charged exchange. So, when an INFJ cuts ties, it can feel abrupt, confusing, and deeply hurtful. There's no angry outburst, no dramatic showdown, just a sudden, eerie silence as if the other person has vanished into thin air. This INFJ door slam can leave those on the receiving end feeling bewildered, uncertain, and desperate for closure that may never come. Number nine, the INFJ door slam. And speaking of the INFJ door slam, this coping mechanism is a truly unique and deeply impactful aspect of INFJ rejection. When an INFJ feels deeply betrayed, misunderstood, or emotionally exhausted, they may choose to completely sever ties with the offending person. This isn't just a casual breakup or a temporary rift. It's a clean, decisive break, a severing of the emotional and energetic connection that can feel almost surgical in its precision. For the INFJ, this door slam protects their sensitive psyche and preserves the sanctity of their inner world. But for the person on the receiving end, it can be absolutely devastating. It's not just the loss of a relationship, it's the sudden, shocking disappearance of a person who was once a central figure in their life. The INFJ door slam can leave those left behind feeling rejected, confused, and utterly powerless to repair the rift. So there you have it, folks. Why does INFJ rejection hit differently? These intuitive feelers possess a unique blend of traits and tendencies that make the dissolution of their relationships a truly profound and shattering experience. From the depth of their emotional bonds to their empathetic superpowers, from the rarity of their presence to their idealistic relationship goals, INFJs bring a level of intensity and authenticity to their connections that is simply unmatched. And when those connections are severed, 
the resulting pain and disorientation can bring even the strongest person to their knees. But here's the thing, as devastating as INFJ rejection can be, it's also a testament to the incredible capacity of these rare individuals to touch our lives in the most profound and meaningful ways. Their absence may leave a gaping hole, but the memories and lessons they impart can become the foundation for our own personal growth and transformation. Now that you've mastered these game-changing insights into INFJ rejection, one more secret could catapult your understanding of personality types to the next level. It's a method only a few top personality experts are using, and it's gaining thousands of followers every day, but almost no one is talking about it. In my next video, I'll break down that hidden strategy step by step so you, too, can see massive growth in your relationships and self-understanding. This technique goes beyond the typical personality type analysis and dives deep into the core of human connection. So, if you're ready to take your knowledge of INFJs and other personality types to new heights, click on the video that's popping up on your screen right now. Trust me, you will want to get this game-changing information. It could be the key to unlocking a new level of interpersonal understanding and personal growth. Remember, understanding personality types like the INFJ isn't just about categorizing people. It's about building deeper, more meaningful connections and navigating the complex world of human relationships with greater ease and insight. So don't wait. Click on that video now and let's continue this fascinating journey together.